Okay, so today I am actually going to show you how to give your dog iodine safely. And um, there are not a lot of, uh, I don't think there's any video out there. This is probably going to be the first video how to actually give your dog um, iodine safely. And because we don't know the dosage since um, dogs are a lot different than, than uh, human. And also too, and we don't know. Um, so this is the safest way. And I said the safest way. And I have developed this method. And um, uh, because I knew that um, uh, during, during my allergy test, um, I kind of figured out that somehow it absorbs into our body. Um, when you go to an allergist or, uh, and they have, um, you know, patch test or allergy test or whatever, and they use this area right here. And believe it or not, dogs actually have an area as well. And this is Benny, by the way. And this is what we're going to use. Okay. And no, I'm not advertising for them. Just to get that out of the way. I actually use this myself. It's just that um, long a while back, I found out that he too was iodine deficiency. Um, so I've been using this method because he doesn't like to taste it. I actually let him taste it by, you know, drop it on my finger and let him lick it. But then here's the problem. We don't know how much um, iodine he actually needs. Okay. So, by that, um, it's kind of dangerous because if too much would be bad, but too little will be bad. So, this is, the, uh, and this is why I, I, I made this, 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 um, I, I, I didn't make, I thought of this idea. And so far, it's working really good. Um... Uh, as you already know, iodine is very, um, if you don't know, iodine is very bitter. I myself don't even like it either. And imagine him, he can taste a lot of stuff. That's even worse for him. So, um, so I, I, I feel kind of guilty. I used to put him on my finger and then I let him lick it. Um, but at the same time, I don't know how much really to give them and so I said oh wait a minute why don't I do what they used to do when they do my patch test um, so that's how I come up with this method and probably going to be the first video in the world um, to actually do this and you won't find it anywhere because I search around and there's nobody telling anybody or how to do this blah 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 so um, today it's a learning video and also too it's a little history of it and if you are not one of those people who are not learning or or don't want to learn um, then this video is not for you um, also too you may want to learn and you may want to listen a little bit because this video will help your dog it doesn't help me that's for sure um, now he's getting a little bit older and like I stated I actually have a video talking about how I found out he's iodine deficiency uh, so to cut this video short I'll link it right up here if you want to learn about that video um, and it's due to sea salt and I mentioned that in that video it's right up here okay just click just click right up here there's an eye there um, so that's how I've learned that he was iodine deficiency through my discovery. And I started to see his health got really bad. Um, he wasn't eating a lot. He was limping. And I was, I thought, you know, he's going to, you know, die on me. He got, oh, the weight was really small. Oh, let me mention, let, let's talk about weight, weight loss. That's another thing. Look how big he is now. Look how fat he is now. 
You see how fat he is now? He was really skinny back then. Yep, if you compare that video to this video, you know right away. That was a big sign. Once he's, he's back to iodine drops and he was eating the iodine food that have iodine in it. Iodide. Um, that's when he started to gain weight back. So he's a little fatter now. He's been eating a lot uh, for the past few months. A lot of food. Um, so And also to his teeth. Um, I'll make that video later. Um, if you smell bad breath from your dog, that's the number one sign that your, your, your dog's in trouble, okay? Anytime you smell a dog's breath and it stinks, that is when you know the dog's in trouble. Number one would be tooth or teeth problems. Two, it's an actually lack of iodine. Uh-huh. Well, like I said, I will be the first person in the world to, to, to tell you a lot of things in this video. So if you have a dog and you have a pet owner and you are a pet owner uh, and you have a dog, you want you may want to, 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 to listen to this video and there's certain things I will throw in that you do not know. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know this method. Um, but in order for I do things, I have to, you know, uh, give a little story so people can understand. Although, trust me, I I like to keep video less than a minute. <laughs> but how? Yeah. The question is: Are you going? Are you going to understand? Because it took me less than a minute to actually figure this one out. Uh, but will you take one minute to figure it out? Um. So, learn how to listen, because I don't really talk. You know. Um, out of my, my uh, a a s s. So, learn how to listen. And if you're a pet owner, I always do things. If you're a pet owner, I always do things that I find helpful. Um, there are plenty of funny videos out there. I don't need to contribute to that because I don't I have no need to do that. Um, so all my videos, most ninety percent of my videos, um, is about learning. So, that's the good news, um, that he got a lot bigger, he got a lot of healthier since I discover iodine, and um, this is just water and iodine only, and this is potassium iodide, uh, 4%, and it says right there, 94%, okay? 94% oh camera come on please focus 94% purified water or distal water uh potassium iodide is 4% and iodine is 2% okay and this is called uh Jay Crow's Lugol solution 2% okay um now you can get the antiseptic uh iodine um bottles that come from like drug stores and stuff but here's the problem. The problem is, is that what if your, your your dog's allergic to alcohol, sensitive to alcohol? There's a lot of things in there that we don't know. So the best thing to do is to get these. And you can feed it orally. But here's the problem. You don't know how much. And here's the thing about our body and his body and everybody else. When you actually put iodine here, and you, for you too, this is for human too if you want to do this. Take some iodine, or iodide, uh, iodine drops, and then just rub it all over here. And your body will absorb it. Within 24 hours, it will take what is ne it, it, it needs. So that's why we're going to do this method the same way. We're going to do that to him. Because then the body will only take what it needs. And the best area right here, it's under his stomach. Um, can you lay over for me? You're helping me. Come on. Lay over. Roll over. Ready? Can you lay over? Good boy. Right here. That's where his sensitive area is. Okay? So this is where... Pretty much similar to where we are 
like down here you can apply down here too I have done that okay but I think this area is better because it's look how big it is and that's where the sensitive area is okay so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and this is how I apply it Stay right there this is how I apply it now you got to remember the body his body needs what it will only take what he needs okay so what I do is I take a droplet and I just drop it on here okay and drop it on there and then I take my finger and I just rub it all over here and you see that yellowy stuff okay that yellow stuff that's what going to help him and it's going to absorb you can see already it's starting to become white look at that that means his body needs iodine okay then you do the same thing on this side can you roll over just a little bit stay right there stay right there any i'm going to do the same thing okay rub that in and let the body absorb now like I stated since we do not know how much he really needs in iodine this is the safest way to actually give your dog iodine because the body his body will absorb you can see it's starting to disappear already comparing to here this is more yellow the yellowness that's when his body is going to absorb and is going to take it from 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 the iodine then he stay right there please you're helping me okay thank you for helping me i'm demonstrating something okay so now you can see look at that I know the camera is a lot darker, but look at my finger and look at his. Most of the stuff, his body's already absorbing already. And that's how, and that's why I said it's the safest way to feed or to give your dog iodine. Because since we don't know the dosage, this is the best way for the body to absorb. Wait, stay please. See how dark it is now? I just drop some more. Okay. And this is where his sensitive area is. And this is where it's going to absorb through his skin. And iodine, that's what I found out. In human, you can drop it right here. You can do it right here on your wrist, underneath. Or you can do it here, make a big patch. Or you know how people do nicotine, nicotine patch right here. Well, in dogs, it's pretty much similar to that, to this area. So literally, that's his nicotine area. Imagine that's what it would be. And if you look at this side, can you roll over a little bit more? Look at this side. It's starting to go away already. Look at that. The skin, look at how light this is now. Remember, it was really dark over here. You see how dark that is? Comparing to this side, I hope you can see in the camera. Because in, in real life, it's a lot lighter. You see that? So that's how you would apply iodine to dogs. And this is the safest way to actually feed or dosage or give dosage to your dog. The safest way. 
And see that my finger right there? Actually, if, if my body needs it, it will absorb all that too. Within an hour or so. Now, this should work within 24 hours. After 24 hours, it's no longer taken. But if you see that the dog started to disappear, like right here, a lot. Look at that. It's starting to turn white. You see that? The back to his skin again. And that wasn't even long. That was like less than a few minutes. That means his body's really starved of iodine. See it now with this side though, it's starting to slow down. You see that? Because he's absorbing enough. So that way, this side is a lot lighter. You see that? Look at that. It's especially right here, he absorbed very fast right here. That that I've noticed right there. Very fast. And look at that. Half of this is already gone already. And remember, I put a bunch of here because that's the corner where the, where the liquid would go in. You see? And look at it. If you can see in real life, you would see that it's really like, like a chicken skin. Uh -huh. That's what it looks like. Like chicken skin. Instead of dark, dark like this. Now look at this side. Since we start talking and we're still doing that, it took it still took a long time for it to absorb. See that? So that means he have already absorbed enough. You can see it. Because this is still going. Look, see here. It's still not going in. See it? So that means he absorbed enough already. Now the body is not taking in anymore. In the beginning, it was really fast. But now it's really slow. You see that? It's still, it's still colored. Comparing to here. Most of these has already disappeared or any. And that's how you apply iodine drops to dogs. From here or here. You can apply down here too. That's the sensitive right here area right there. Oops. Sorry. Right underneath here would be another sensitive area. You can apply that right there too. Let's see how fast that would take. I usually put two drops because I don't know. That should be enough iodine. Just two drops would be enough for. And then let and then let his body absorb it. Don't rub too much. Because then you're gonna lose the iodine in the fur. You want to find it anywhere that is skin. Now this is where he absorbed fastest. Here and right here. And like I stated, no, see, I'll let you see one more time before I end this video. I'm going to zoom really close. So you can see. Sorry, my camera kind of stinks, but. Right here. Look at that. Most of them is already absorbed and is already taken in by his body already. And it's pretty light, like I said, like chicken skin now. So basically right here, right here and underneath his armpit. Okay? Now, before I go, uh, how, what are the symptoms? Let me uh, talk a little bit. I'll just take two minutes out. Um, what are the symptoms when you see an, uh, a dog like this? Is when, um, when they are, how do you know the iodine deficiency? Usually shaking. The dog will shake a lot. The dog would go into a, like, like he or she is always cold. And... You will know that he or she was always cold in the cold. Right now I'm cold, so he's a little shaking right now. Um, but normally he doesn't do that anymore. He used to shake in the hot weather. Yes. Like, hottest weather outside and he was shaking. Like, we're talking about like 80, 90 degree outside and he was shaking. Not anymore though. Right now we're actually really cold today. It's starting to get cold in, in New Hampshire now. Um... So, that's how I've learned because of his shakeness. He used to shake. And then underneath here, underneath here, 
you will see a big bubble. You see that? There's a big bubble down there. If he had thyroid problem, this like come out even more. I used to think that he was fat. Uh huh. So once he have enough, that will shrink down a little bit. Uh, it used to be like really big, and I thought it was like, um, I thought it was fat. I'm like, huh? How how do how do you get so much fat in underneath there? But you don't get fat down here because he was really skinny. So weight loss, shake, tremble, weakness, uh, tiredness, uh, like no energy or fatigue. Uh, those are the main symptoms. And I'll write more in the description too. Uh, out my findings. Now I do feed them vegetables that have iodine in it. But at the same time you have to give him dosage like this. And like I stated, yes, you can get the one at the pharmacy where they use it for cuts. That, that sometimes, those are actually 6%. Rather than, you know, this much or 2%. But here's the problem. They add alcohol into that and sometimes the alcohol can dry up their skin or some dogs actually allergic to alcohol yes there are dogs that are allergic, so you have to be careful on that maybe you can test it out i don't know um you can try that but yes you can if you have if you don't have these but these are only like 12 dollars, and i drink it myself so um that's why it's a safer for him to do it sometimes i give him orally like i just put him on my finger and let him lick it but i find that I don't know the dosage. Since I don't know the dosage, this is a safer way. And that's how I figured out. Now see how, how his body's not no longer taken? It's not white no more. It doesn't turn back to color. Because now his body's rejecting it. Remember how this side is? See? Remember how it went so white I had to put more in? Now it doesn't need it no more. And see, it's not... It's just rejecting. So that's how you do it. And that's how you do it safely. And like say down here too. Look. Even down here. It's, it's starting to go away. Because it's absorbed some. But look. It still doesn't absorb. In beginning it was really fast. That's when you know the body is starved. The word is the body starved for iodine. And because of that, because of my patch test that I used to go to the doctor to get them. And then I start to see the people put uh, nicotine patches here and nicotine patches here. And nicotine patches on your stomach. That's when I knew that it actually absorbed into your body. That's how I knew. Um, well, I knew the people were saying it, but I didn't get the confirmation. When I got the confirmation, that's when I knew that, yes... It actually absorbs into the body. And that's how I knew that. Uh, how to do this. So I apply the same principle. And like I stated. It's working so far. Um, I also let him lick my finger. But I didn't like that. Because like I stated. I don't know how much. I don't know how much iodine he really need. I might. You know. Overdose instead. And overdosing. Remember this. Okay. Before I go. Overdosing can be bad too. So that's why I developed this, this, this way. And this way is the safest way to give your dog iodine. And if you have a dog, just tell them to lay it over, rub it, and let the body absorb. And look at it. All that time. And we still haven't absorbed yet. So that means his body doesn't have enough. See it? So now you can't even overdose. You can't overdose it. Because though his body already needed enough. His body are absorbed enough. Look, even on this side, it's not absorbing. This up here is no longer absorbing. His skin here is white. But other than that, it's not absorbing. But this is still yellow. Look at that. That means he have enough. Okay? And like I stated, and I'll say it one more time. This is the safest method. Because you don't know how much to give your dog iodine. But by through skin, it, it will absorb as much as he or the body needs. The body crave for it. The body will take it. If the body doesn't crave for it. The body won't take it. Okay.
Other than that, that's about it on this video. I hope you find it useful and give this method a try uh, because it will save your dog if your dog, like I stated in early in the video, and I'll write them on the description too, how I found out about iodine and dog iodine deficiency. Other than that, that's about it on this video, and I will see you in the next video. Okay?